It is time for an updated brow tutorial. I was actually in the middle of filming another video with my opinions on Claire Crawley and The Bachelorette. And then I was like, I cannot talk shit about Claire Crawley and do my brows at the same time. I've been doing my brows now with the same product for like, I'd say the past nine months or so, but I don't think that I've done an update video in a long time. Um, I've been actually getting a lot of comments lately about how you guys have thought my brows look really great lately. So thank you for that. Every time I read that, I it makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside and I feel like I'm doing something right. Um, <laughs> so, oh. I need to, wow. There are only two products that I use, so you'll be introduced to those as we go. First and foremost, I like to take a tiny little spoolie. This is a brow product that I used to use. Um, it was like the only one that I found that matched like my navy hair. It's the Lorac Slate. I haven't heard anything about Lorac in quite a while. So I like to brush my few little baby eyebrow hairs up and I just plucked a couple that were bothering me. I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair. As you can see, it kind of just runs in my family like this. And so my goal is always to make them bigger and bushier. And I just, you know, you've got a lot of work to do when your brows look like this and you want them to look like this. I typically will go in with a few different shades for dimension. So after I brush them, I always start with my right eyebrow because it is my favorite eyebrow because it always looks better. This eyebrow is like naturally somehow, I don't know if it's because I always like am like pushing my eyebrow up, but this eyebrow is somehow always like a bit higher. Like even though it looks like even, like see the bottom of the brow is like even, I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't know if it's cause I, I think I raise it, but anyways. So what I use for the majority of my brow process is Urban Decay's Brow Blade. If they ever stop making this product, I will literally go to every Ulta I can find and buy everything that they have in the shades that I need. Now I have random shades in here because sometimes I need a darker one, sometimes I need a lighter one. It kind of depends on what look I'm going for and what color my hair is and how my roots look. So with just for like a normal brow and for normal, I mean with like my hair, how it is right now and without my brows trying to look like extra dark or light. Um, sometimes you want to make them look lighter. You can use a few of these. I have like, um, let's see, I've got taupe trap right here. This one is, it's a little warmer. You can kind of see it on there. It's a little warmer. It could actually work for my hair right now. So I might go in with a little bit of that, but um, I use neutral Nana for most of it. And one of the ones that I used the other day, brunette Betty, this one I was using, but I actually ran out of it. So I went back to neutral Nana, but this one, I'm going to show you the three of these on my hand. This one is the taupe trap. This one is Brunette Betty, and this one is Neutral Nana. And Neutral Nana is kind of just like a, like a, it's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just, I think this should work for like anyone with like light brown hair, this, whatever this is. The cool thing about Brow Blade also is that I feel like there was another shade that I liked more than Brunette Betty because I think it was like even lighter than this one. And I think I tossed it the other day because it was gone. So the, the great thing about the Urban Decay Brow Blade is that there are two products in one. So a while ago before they even made this, I was like, it would be so rad if there was a product that had the ability to do like the little tiny like flicks, like a little paintbrush. So it's got that side right here, which is like a little, um, you know, ink stain basically. And then on the other side, I was like, it'd be really cool if you had that small micro pencil that you, did you think I was gonna say something else there? Cause I kind of thought I was gonna say something else there too and I'm the one talking, so. <laughs> so I like to start off with the pencil side. I will usually start in the front because that's where I'm deciding how far down my brow is going to go and how big I want it. I'll start just kind of flicking upwards like this and I press harder down here and then I loosen my grip as it gets higher so that I'm creating a smaller stroke towards the top. And I'll basically work with where my brow starts for now. And I'll start to flip this back this way. 
and build this up. I actually, you wanna bring your brow to like, so if you put your pencil on the side of your nose between your nostril and the ball of your nose, this is technically where your brow should go till. And I always keep in mind that I'm gonna go back with the ink stain also. I build this up and I build this up and I like to kind of keep this shape uniform. Like I don't like it big here and then really small. So I'll try and keep this like pretty much the same width from here to here to here to here, if that makes sense. And as I go here, I start to kind of tilt my pen more this way as opposed to just upwards. This is all up to you. Um, I'll, at this point where I just have this tiny little tail, I'll start to actually draw a bit of the line here just to fill in some of this like scrappy crap down here. And I'll take this and find my tail and pull it out to where I want to pull it out to. I will just start flicking this outwards in little short strokes until it kind of fills it in. So now that I'm looking at this, to me, I don't really like that there's not more fluff right here. And I don't actually like how this is kind of just like, woo, like I want a little harsher. So what I do once I have a bit of that is I also want this to kind of come out like that a little bit more. It looks a little more realistic. So for me, I'm gonna build this up even more. I'm gonna make this arch a little more apparent up here by building this up. I'm going to do this more of a straight kind of line here and end it into that. I don't really like when this is as thick as this, I guess. So I'm building that up a little bit. Partway through, I'm gonna go through and take this little spoolie and I'm not gonna drag it too hard, but very lightly, I'm gonna flick it through just to make sure, cause sometimes when you see like, a, what you see is like a little bald spot will correct itself once you brush through a little bit. I'll start to take the other side of the ink stain and I will just start drawing in like hairs. And I use it over here a lot, if you can see, cause you can see the little hair strokes. Wanna be mindful of the pressure that you're using because this will leave a dot if you press too hard. So when you first, put it on there, you wanna be mindful of like how hard you're pressing. So I like to usually build up the front of the brow with this a lot, cause as you can see, you can see little hair strokes. That's basically what I do with this product. Sometimes if I, if I feel like my roots are kind of long or I need some more dimension, there's another dimension step I'm gonna show you in a second, but I'll go in with like a little bit darker of a product. And so for me, that is dark drapes and I'll do a little swatch of this on my hand so you can see it as well. So this, is dark drapes right here. So sometimes I'll take dark drapes and I will kind of define the bottom of the brow a little bit more with a little bit darker of a shade. I will take the ink stain and I will kind of just do the exact same thing that I did with the other product and I will draw in some little strokes, some little hair hairs and you know, you get a different dimension because it's a bit darker. Look at the difference between my brows, holy heck. There are a couple other products here that I use. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. So this is the Hourglass Arch um, Volumizing Fiber Gel. One reason I don't love this brush um, is that it is looks like it's built for an eyelash. So for me, I end up, I just turn it so that the, the the brushes that are, cause it's, they're only on the top, okay? So you can kind of use it a different few ways. So I'll do it like this. So the bigger part of the brush, I don't use because I don't have enough brow hair. The one that I like to use the most is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. It's also a lot cheaper. So there's two shades, like I said, depending on the brow look that I have going on. As you can see, this brush is a lot tinier. You can really see the difference between the brushes there and for me, the smaller brush just works a lot better because it, it does clump up product a little bit more. So you have to be careful and mindful of that and kind of wipe some of it off. But I will just do this. And a lot of the times if I don't do this step with the darker shade, it kind of puts some product on my brow right there. If you can see that, it kind of makes it look like I have more there than I really do. That is how I do the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and then I'll pop back on camera. My brows are done. And one thing to remember about your brows too, and I have to remind myself of this because my brows are never even. Don't judge yourself too hardly. Don't judge me too hardly. Like we're humans, like your eyebrows are not identical. They are sisters and sometimes cousins. These, these are fine for me right now. I'm sure they're a little uneven. I'm sure they're not perfect, but 
they look good to me, so that's what we're going with. Um, I would love if you guys would share your favorite brow products in the comments below so that everyone can kind of talk some talk amongst themselves and like get some ideas in case um, this isn't your jam or you've tried it and you don't like it. Uh, but yeah, that's my updated brow tutorial. Hopefully you guys got a little something out of it. Um, and uh, I'm going to go back to the other video that I was filming. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.